Ciao ragazzi! Ciao! <laughs> so, ciao. welcome to the live. So, today we're talking about all tips about Rome. And then, in the end, we're going to take all your questions, like, or for Rome, or whatever you want. Or in general. Okay. So, <clears throat> let's start talking about tips in Rome. So, when you arrive in Rome, obviously, you are at an airport. So the most question, usually. yes, <laughs> usually. So the most question it is from the airport where I need to go to go center. How? To right, go. because the airport is not in historic central yes. of Rome. So it, it is thirty minutes uh, far away. So you have three options. So you have, or you take the taxi, and it costs you fifty dollars, fifty euros. And remember the taxi. The only one, they are the white with taxi on the top. Then you can uh, take... Um, Don't be fooled by other people that claim to be taxis that yes. aren't taxis. That people you can contract maybe the price. Like, you know, okay, the top is 50 and you can decide 40, whatever. Your, your choice. Then it is the train, Leonardo Express. Okay, the, the price is 14 euros per person. And they take you there in 20 minutes. Uh, Does that take you to Roma Termini? Yes, the station. Okay. From the station. So you go <clears> to <throat> there, to Roma Termini. And from there, you need to start moving again. You have the taxi or you can take the buses, uh, like normal transportation, because they are plenty. That uh, Leonardo Express, pretty much, it is like every 15 minutes, this one. It is what most people take it. Me and Jesse, we always take the taxi because we arrive so tired. We don't want to deal with trains, trains buses. buses. We just want to get to the hotel. Then is now I see a question. Uber or Lyft? So in Italy, they are Uber but it is a big fight right now from the people from Uber and the taxi people because ta because Uber is cheaper mm -hmm. and the taxi people hate this thing. So it is like a big fight. They really actually fight. Like mm -hmm. they broken the tires and stuff like that. That's what I, I, I see it. Yes, it's, I it's crazy. So yeah. I never, I never <clears throat> um, see... We never like, took an Uber in Italy, did we? Uh, we always just take taxis. We always take taxis. Part um, of the reason, because like when you come out of the airport, there's a, a designated taxi spot. Yeah. So it's always just easy to go over there, get your taxi. Take your taxi and, and go. The problem with taxis in Italy, it is no all are honest. Yeah. They are not honest. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. So my tip it is if somebody in the taxi, they're going to tell you, oh, my, you give the credit card, okay? And they tell you, oh, the internet not working, it's not working, you said. Do you have any cash? Do you have cash? No. Say they no. Use the card. I, you say, I have just the card, I have just the card. Because the, pretty much they do that, so they don't pay the taxes. Because you give cash, they don't declare. Or make you do a ricevuta. A receipt. A receipt. Some people I don't care. Say give the money or say okay, no uh, contract the price. I mean, yeah, it is like uh, you want to be sneaky with me. I sneaky with you. But they doing that there at the sometimes the um, they cost so much and they pump you the price. So make sure okay, you do it. You can take bus from the airport you can take extra bus what is the problem in the bus you can stuck in traffic mm -hmm. so maybe you go online oh it's just 30 minutes yes in rome you're stuck in traffic and maybe you stay an hour you don't want to do that even with taxi you can have that problem the first time we went to rome we did taxi straight to the airport it was great the taxi driver was great we actually he like drove us around to see some of the sites before taking us yes. to our hotel, which was really nice. And this most recent time, yes, <clears throat> we did the bus. We did the bus. Because we came from Siena to Rome rather yes. than coming to the airport. And the bus, after we got on the bus, we hopped on the, what is that thing? Uh, the train? No, it's like it has a little Oh, uh, the Navetta is, is shuttle shuttle. Kind it's of? a shuttle. Yeah. It was super cheap. It was one euro fifty a US per person at all three 
sometimes the 150 at three euros and then they bring you a destination right just be aware that it's not going to take you directly to your hotel there's stops on the way so you have to imagine you've got your suitcases yeah. you're getting off the bus you're getting out and you're walking on the cobblestone streets with all the people so if you want to go straight to where you want to go do a taxi do taxi you uh, don't mind walking you we, could do we did everything yeah we, we did taxi everything. we tried the the shuttle and we tried the bus because what happened if you are in siena so we fly always to venice because i'm from venice and then i go down okay but when we go down we go to um uh how it's called uh, siena the the train don't go straight to siena to rome go up to florence you change and you go back. So it was cost 100 euros mm -hmm. per, uh, I think, for both. It was, uh, so what I did, I searched. I thought, I don't want to go up and do three hours for, no, like, reason. for no reason. So I take, we take the bus. And the bus was eight euros. It was taking like two hours from there. So we just take a bus. I buy online and we go there in two hours. It was nice. Actually, you can see the, the thing and we, the bill. It was very peaceful, actually. <laughs> and then you are in the station, train station uh, in Rome. Like, um, I don't remember what it's called. Roma. Roma. Ter no. No, it's not Termini. It's ta ta It's something else. It starts with a T. Triburtina. 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 Yes. Else. And from there, we take the uh, the little shuttle the last thing. Shuttle thing. Somebody had a good question. It, do we need to buy our train tickets before we travel? Definitely in advance. Definitely as in advance. In advance as you can. So actually came another question. Is what train to take? So you have two options. You have Train Italia or Italo. Amore, spell Italo. I-T-A-L-O. -L. Okay. This is the two things. Italo, they don't do all the um, sites, like maybe go Rome to uh, Venice, but maybe don't do Rome to uh, Siena. Yeah. It's a small comparison. They do just the big cities. It's the cheaper uh, uh, train, but it's a really good train. Like, amazing. It's not for you by like cheap. Actually, you like more <laughs> Italo, okay? Then it's train Italia that doing all over the place and you can take freccia rossa because they go straight is the faster yeah you have the slow train or you have freccia rossa which is the speed train which gets you where you want to go faster, faster but it's more expensive yes comparison it is the the train regionale is called you may be to go rome in seven hours or eight hours uh, freccia rossa in four hours you there and we buy the tickets just on the website right yeah i go straight to train italia and I go buy the tickets there and I buy in advance because if you know buy, I buy even two months in advance. You need to be sure can you go. Is it because the price goes higher? The go closer? higher. More closer you go, even for Italo, and more higher you go. But what happened, sometimes they book all because you need to think about Italy is crazy, the tourists. Like you have tourists. And this is even airport. When you go to the airport to try mm -hmm. to fly back, Make sure to be in airport early when it's high season. Okay, this is another thing. Never book the last train of the day uh, anywhere in Italy. <laughs> I just thought about this because in Italy, they're famous for train delays, train stops. Yeah. And if you need to be somewhere and you get on the last train, it might be canceled. You don't have another way to get where you're going. So always take an earlier an train early. and an be there early. Yes, so never, never do it. <laughs> um, but as far as the like the tickets for the train, we order online first. We order online. Then when we get to the station, do we do they have it on the phone now, or do we pick it you up have from in the, the phone? Station? You have actually the coming the coming uh, the your barcode in the phone, and then when it's coming, the guy you just show, and then he see the number. That's it. So you need even. Uh, you don't have to um, uh, timber validate. validate but if you do buy your ticket in the station at the little kiosk or whatever you will have to take your ticket to a validation stamper before which are inside. all like in front of the 
The train track. The train tracks. You take yeah. your ticket, you stick it in there, and you validate it. Validate it. So just put the timing. I would have totally messed that up if it wasn't for Alessio yeah. the first time because I didn't know you needed to do that. So I would have got on, got on the train with my ticket, but you need to stamp it so they know what time you... You you did because you can keep the ticket for another day if you want, you know? Yeah. And if the machine is not working, that is a, a problem too. When you go to the train, you take your spot, and you go searching from the guy okay this always with a jacket you can see it is the and you say hey the ticket no was valid uh, uh, the machine on was validation and he knows and then he validation your ticket for you so yeah. that is another thing that you have to know but uh right now everybody buy online and they have all things then let's see here well okay let's start like where when to go Rome, like the seasons. Mm -hmm. Okay, so wh when is the time to go in Rome? I don't know. It depends on what you want to experience. What you want to experience. <laughs> in my opinion, the best time to go in Rome, it is in the end of February and beginning of March. That's it, in my opinion. And why? Why? Because after that, you have so many tourists. So many tourists from March and 15, April, they start coming. And then you're going to make so many lines to the sites. If you want to go to Rome to see the Vatican, to see the uh, Colosseum, Colosseum, the Pantheon. Pantheon, you have lines. You see in the hard videos that we did Rome, we did a vlog Rome, that we were uh, stay. We're going to talk about Airbnb or hotel, but you see... We was open just the window at nine o'clock. It was this big lines. Uh, people were woke up early. And the very first time we went to Rome together, we went in February, February. early February. So it was technically winter, but we got so lucky. And in Rome, it felt like spring. Spring, like t shirt, like Alessio this. I was walking around with a t shirt. I had on just like a light sweater, which was too hot. And we went around, the weather was great, and we had no lines. Zero. We walked into everything almost immediately. It was amazing because it was the first time I'd been. Yeah. I wanted to see everything. I'm a, yeah, like a, I got to see the sights kind of person. Yeah. I love to go in the Forum, the Colosseum, the Vatican Museum, everything. And we went at the perfect time because we got lucky with the weather and there weren't any people. This most recent time when we went in May, yeah, so many people all over the place. I kept thinking, wow, if this had been my first trip, <laughs> yes. I would be kind of upset because I felt like I wouldn't have gotten to see everything that I wanted to see because I would have spent so much time yes. in line. Yeah. So it really depends on what you're wanting to experience. If it's important for you to see everything go in a low season time, and risk it with the weather, I think, yeah, because, so you can see what you want to see. Exactly, because it's, uh, um, the, it's the problem it is here is a question from about when is the high season. The high season definitely is in May, okay? Mm, May, June. May, June. People go in August too, but in August, guys. August is the worst time you, to August. travel to Italy. <laughs> the people can go in August... They don't understand. You cannot go with the heat in Rome in August and and to be in the city, everything is closed because in Italy, in August, everybody going vacation. It's really like it's a no, 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 a big no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. So don't go in August. Go September after the 15th, okay? Because Italians say... Uh, September's the coming back and the tourists is September still nice weather and then September October you can find a nice thing uh, mm -hmm. at, or like I said and I depend what you want to do if you stay in Rome just two days like stay in two days you got it maybe you don't see everything you need to make a priority or you need to buy the passes can make you skip the lines yeah. you can buy 
I mean, you can do that. You spend maybe hundred dollars a ticket. You skip all it's the lines. It's called Roma Pass, right? Yes, or Roma Pass, or you can even go straight to the, uh, the example the Vatican. They sell you like specific skip the line. Skip the line. You get to see the prices. Every year is different, so I cannot give you the prices. We actually, because we no was no lines at all, we did everything in pretty much in twenty four hours. We walked into the Pantheon like accidentally. Just like wandering the streets. Oh, look, it's the Pantheon. Pantheon. Let's go in. We were the only ones inside the Pantheon. The Pantheon. Like, it was amazing. It was incredible. And it, was, it wasn't even that early morning. It might have been like 9.30. 9.30, 10. 10. And we were the only ones in there. It was magical. And only like after 10 minutes or so, people started trickling in. But we got to basically stay in the Pantheon alone. It was amazing. And it just really depends on the experience you want. Like... If it's, if it's not your first time in Rome and you're just coming there to just hang out, just to experience the city and you're not, it's not important for you to go see things, Yeah. maybe going when it's warmer, like in May, would be really beautiful because the flowers are blooming, you've got really warm weather, it's nice. So it depends on what you're wanting. Yes. Um, somebody asked if you could repeat the best month again. So... Uh, I say February, if you want to go see visit in the end of February, beginning of March, because you could be lucky to find amazing weather or no weather. One time we go and we find the best weather. And one time we was chill. It was cold. Rome is like this. You never know with the weather. But if you last time we were in March, February, my God, it was just a little jacket in the evening. Yeah, that's it. In the evening, even you need a little jacket. But it was we took amazing. my parents in like January yes. once, and it was cold, but honestly, it was worth it to me to not have the crazy lines. I would go in the winter if I was going to go see a lot of tourists. Yeah. Thanks. Then we have this uh, question. Ah, yes. Okay. Somebody else mentioned something too, like about pickpockets being out of control right now. I saw that. So the worst case, okay, see big baskets, whatever was in Florence. So, okay. Rome situation, all the size. Uh, every city, uh, what I, I was more shocked for the trash in Rome because with all the, for the big packets, let us yeah, yeah. from the big pack, because the all the tourists, it's big yeah, packet. Big, yeah, well, big. <laughs> big packets, because they need to have a big packet for to fit everything, fit everything in the store. So <laughs> the, um, the big packets. I was not that shocked because the trash, I was more shocked because so much tourists, the people cannot, the people that was working for uh, clean up the trash, they cannot pick, uh, uh, to be so fast to pick up all the trash. So it was mountains, mountains, the trash, it was trash all over because mm, was, yeah. so for everybody can go in Rome, please. If you have your ice cream, don't throw away in a random place. At least if you want to make a pile, make a pile where is the trash. So at least maybe people, the trash people, when they arrive, they try to pick up. They, they, it is too small, the garbage. Respect the people, uh, the constantly people eating ice cream. So mm -hmm. all the plastic and the food. And so it's amazing. But the tips can we find it? I would say your best... Um thing to avoid the pickpockets is just to be observant of what where you are yeah. and what who is around you because yes. they will look for people who are distracted who are like looking around not monitoring their purse or their wallet and they will target you so just be aware of who's around you if you feel like you're being kind of followed by somebody like we've been followed by a couple people in Rome before mm -hmm. because it was when my I took my parents and it was very obvious that we were like tourists, very obvious. We're wandering and I could just tell there were people kind of like monitoring us. So Alessio like gave them an ugly look and then they, they left oh, immediately. They were like, <laughs> yeah, we were like, oh, look, look at that. that. So and me in the back, I was watching the guy like, 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 get, that, like get away so they fake it and they go so you need to be aware especially when you're on the transportation like the public transportation because especially if it gets crowded if you're in the metro or the bus or something 
and you've got your backpack on your back or your purse down next to you, always have a hand on your items. I always travel with a purse that has a zip. Like I don't have my purse that just opens or has a magnetic closure. I always have the zipper and I always have the zipper toward the front of me rather to the back. Does that yeah. make sense? So, so nobody can like unzip it from the back and reach in. Um, my mom bought one of those things that goes around your neck. So you have your wallet and your phone and it was winter. So she had her coat on and it was right here in the front. That's always helpful. Wallet in the front of your pockets, rather the back. Uh, the backpack you put on the front. So you switch it when you are in the buses, you put the front if you have stuff. Mm -hmm. You can put on the on the front, or sometimes if I have a backpack, I watching Jesse like this, uh, in the station, and she watching we're this direction. We're super actually. careful. Like we are, we're probably over the top. Over careful, the top, but, but I just don't want to deal with it. So it's better for me to always be watching and always be. Yeah, we did some videos in in. Uh, if you go to her videos, Toscany, I think this or Florence, twenty four, uh, twenty uh, twenty four hours in Florence. Mm -hmm. It is like a tip for. For see all the people, the big packets, let's call it like that. Big because <laughs> because in Florence, for example, they put you this like fake paints on the round and it's close to the sides. So you like, oh, look. And then you start walking on top and they start yelling you like, oh, no, you broke my paint a dollar. You just say, hey, dude, uh, get out from here. If, if you're going to yelling you in the face, they said, let's go to the police and and see because that is a big scam so you can even watch her videos rome can mm -hmm. we show you don't hold your purse towards the road because if somebody come with the vespa they can my always close to the yeah. wall literally guys i always have i wish i had my purse with me right now so i could show you how i hold it i yeah. have i have a across the body strap around my body and then i have my arm through the little handles like this so i've got it across my body and I'm holding the handles at the same time. Yeah. Somebody asked if it's about the same as New York with the big pockets or if it's worse. It is. Yeah. Do you feel like it's worse than New York or? I don't know. Well, I mean, we are always super careful if we go in any big city. We're yeah. just always aware. Um, I wanted to say one thing, though, because you were giving the example of the scams. The biggest pickpocket scam that I've seen literally with my eyes was when we were in Venice and no, yes. <laughs> they, um, these people will have cups of coins or just like handfuls of coins and they'll be in a big crowd. They'll drop it. So you hear all the change fall. So it gets everybody's attention. Everybody's distracted. If you're a nice person, you'll like bend down to help pick it up. Meanwhile, somebody's in your back pocket, reaching in, taking all of your stuff because you're distracted trying to pick up these coins as much as you want to be a nice person, sometimes you just have to like ignore and go on because it is a scam. It is a, a thing. They'll prey on your kindness, yes, unfortunately. Exactly. They exactly. love to prey on your kindness. If you're conversational with somebody, they try to distract you, try to ask you questions. Meanwhile, their associate is grabbing everything behind you. You just really have to be aware and just on guard yeah. to be the best at like avoiding the big pockets yes. as Alessio called. Exactly. <laughs> so this then bring another thing, most question, it is where to stay, like Airbnb hotel. Here actually they asking which hotel do you stay when we have the... Uh, Trevi Fountain. It was called Fountain, uh, uh, Trevi Fountain View. Hotel Fontana. Hon right? Hotel Fontana. So uh, I don't know, Hotel Fontana, you want a spelling... Fontana. F-O-N-T-A-N-A. -A. Yes. Hotel Fontana. And then we uh, we asked for the Chevy Fountain View room. Exactly. But now I'm going to tell you. Yeah, this is a good segue into this. Point. Yes, because we stay hotels and we stay Airbnbs. We stay close to the sites, like to the Fontana. We stay to the uh, Pantheon. Pantheon. And then actually we stay in a hotel a little bit far away because there was uh, the, uh, Ibe Iberi Iberica? Iberi Iberia. Iberia, Hotel Iberia. Which is H-I-B-E-R-I-A. Exactly. Exactly. So the pro and the cons. I think 
if you want to sleep, don't go close to the site. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, you you have your fountain view. It's uh, beautiful. beautiful. You but walk in, the evening, in, you're like, wow, look at this amazing view. The I breakfast, have. you have the fountain you're eating is magic. It is very cool. But you need to prepare <laughs> the noises, the yelling at any time the night is oh, no right. stopping especially if you're like close to a piazza like piazza trevi or the piazza i don't remember the name but right in front of the pantheon yes it's just a place where people are always there they always loud. you need to bring the um earplugs uh, earplugs and bring how much you can because they are yelling people like it's like well ah, we party tonight my yelling under your <laughs> and it your never window. ever stops <laughs> in the phantom it's worse because it's known for party in the phantom so it's music too and like, <laughs> go ahead. what we discovered this last time is not only is there music coming from the pantheon but because of its size it like echoes echo it's like a large like speaker phone that's just like echoing these people's music all over the piazza. It was insane. It was insane. I felt like they were in our bed next to us. Like, That's how loud they were. Because it's not that they're doing the piazza. They're doing inside the, the phantom, little... the little cover, the phantom. So they dance. And you can see from the video from it's, the 24 hours, uh, it is the Rome, tips Rome. And then it's the people ah, dancing. <laughs> hey, you don't sleep. Oh, no. So. So that is a con. You have the pro of the beautiful view, view. but you have the con of the noise, the yeah. sleeping. You have to bring earplugs. Yeah. Like I would not have survived. Hotel Iberia it was far away, but was so close to the Colosseum. You can see the Colosseum from there if you take the room from the... Let's it's say it's not to... far away. Like it's, it's not, not in, no. next to a, a site, but it's still within the historic district. Of yeah, uh, like uh, how I was walking 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, 15 minutes to the Coliseum, to the fountain. All uh, 15 minutes from everything. I and love that place. That place, uh, the, uh, that hotel, it is my number one hotel. It's always book. It's really good price. You it's know, super affordable. Affordable. Probably like as people <laughs> as people watch this video and they're gonna be like, oh, let's raise our prices. Yeah. Oh, hotel Iberia was amazing. Our room was small, but yeah. all rooms in Rome were small wrong, but... unless you're paying a fortune. The people there were amazing. The staff was so fun and funny yes. and accommodating. We just happened to get a beautiful view over the rooftops of Rome. It was just so stunning. And the breakfast was amazing. So we really liked Hotel Iberia. Uh, yes, it is like, um, <laughs> it was a hard It was a, a surprise magical experience. And I tried to book uh, in, the, in the years later, but was always book. So uh, we decided to go Airbnb. And uh, because sometimes the hotel costs more right now, so we choose Airbnb. And example, where we were in um, in Pantheon, we have the grocery store right there. We have a cop store, so we uh, we was going e eating out, but we have the actually the the store right there. We can yeah. do grocery. This is a good point for like money saving tips, whether you're in an Airbnb or a hotel, because in Italy, the hotel breakfast is not like how we have breakfast in America where it's scrambled eggs and pancakes and all that stuff. You'll have baked goods like croissants, um, pastries, things like that. But they also have like this section where you've got bread, prosciutto, cheese, tomatoes, like all these kinds of savory foods. So when you're in a hotel, we do this all the time. We'll go to breakfast and then we'll make like a sandwich and we'll take the sandwich on the road with us to go around the site. So we eat lunch that way and then we'll spend money to go to like a restaurant for dinner. So that was really helpful when we were well, saving money early on. Take advantage of that like savory part of the breakfast. We was doing the sandwich. <laughs> we was up. doing the sandwich and then pretty much... Like an apple and a sandwich and you're good to we go. We was going, maybe we were walking to um like a destination the vatican. the vatican and then in the vatican you stay hours it is hours to spend inside and so we was eating the sandwich because uh no was too many lines in the restaurant but you know uh 
we we talk about food uh, experience, food, yeah. but um, the sandwich was fine, and we was doing a big meal in the evening, mm -hmm. like we was eating upside and. Um, And so on the other, the flip side of that is if you're in an Airbnb, like Alessio said, you can go to the local grocery stores, you can buy things for breakfast and lunch or whatever meals that you want to eat in your home. Yeah. And then you can spend your money to go to the restaurant. Yeah. It depends on if you want to go crazy and spend all your money or if you want to save money and spend here. And, and we try both. We try to uh, spend the money. We go crazy. Uh, and sometimes I was disappointed. Uh, about the food in Rome. Uh, I need to say, uh, like I was a little bit disappointed in, in Paris in food, I was disappointed in, uh, in Rome in food. I, I believe that the quality go, I know, I know tourists, you go there and then you start half popular, you know, but I was disappointed because the places, example, we go to the, to the Carbonara, Uh, can we show you the carbonara place? It was uh, da the Michele. Oh, yeah. It was upside, but still close to the uh, it's store. In Monte. The and Monte district. The Monte, yes. There's the Monte. different districts in Rome. Yeah. So it's not like in the, the seat of the tourist area, but it's still within Rome itself. But it's sort of like outside where there's more local people living. And... Um, Sorry, I got distracted by a question. So Alessio is right. Any city center is going to have crappy food. Mm -hmm. Like, unfortunately, it's it's sad because I'll see people come in on our videos saying like, oh, yeah, I went to Italy and the food was just like, eh, whatever. But it's because they're eating in these tourist trap restaurants where the people there, they know there's always going to be more tourists coming. You know, yeah. you don't have to worry about repeat customers like you would in a more local area or outside of a city where you got to have good food. So your people come back and you stay in business. City center restaurants, they know, unfortunately, this person's going to eat my food and go on their way. And then I'll have a new person tomorrow and it doesn't matter. Yeah. So it's really hard to eat well in the city centers. Yes. It's really so hard. maybe not everybody is um, uh, like, Like this, they don't they don't agree, but really depend how you think about food. Because uh, uh, to be honest, depend what you think about food. Because if you come from maybe a small town where the quality it is a, a high level quality, you know, when we go in Rome and then we go example to the sites like. Um, um, da Michele mm -hmm. it is close by to the center it is the best food whatever but when we we try the top foods like recommended even from youtubers we was go there but no was so the was so disappointed <laughs> you go to another place like it's not uh like the carbonara from I don't want to say again that go see the video it was the number one place the line was like that was the worst carbonara in the really history there was the pasta was attached by herself it is like like we said sometimes when you have too much popularity it is the the Then devil you can't keep up with demand the demand so you need to do more fast so it is not about it is places that you eat really well but most people i don't know where to eat. you you go to to wikipedia or whatever but you need to read the italians uh Uh, Italian reviews. Italian reviews. <laughs> Look for the reviews because... in Italian and then click the translate so you can read it in your language and see what the Italians say about the food there. Yeah. That's an easy way to find something. Exactly. We had discovered Da Michele accidentally. Accidentally. Like our first trip to Rome, we were wandering around. We got off the beaten path. We were starving. We found them. The best experience. The best experience. We were so lucky, so we always go back there multiple yeah. times. Every time we're in Rome, it's our favorite restaurant, Da Michele on Via Mer Merlana, Merluna, Merluna, I think. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. it is in the video. That... But, yeah, but it. Some other tips for food, just mm -hmm. really fast to like. Definitely don't go anywhere where they have big pictures of the food outside the restaurant. Don't yeah. Yeah. Because I think that is just the show people what they have. But now they start to do it, everybody. Before it was a big no. Now they start doing even you the think? good. Uh, now they start doing even the good restaurants because 
I, I think the, the visual, it is like uh, for the people accommodation, but yeah, I agree. To try and get them I to mean, come in. Some restaurants, they're never going to put you the pictures. It's mm -hmm. high, high, high quality, but sometimes you can find a picture. Like I, I, I found one time a picture, but it's rare. I yeah. would say the price also shows you mm -hmm. quality because the higher the price, the more touristy i think it is like when we find a good restaurant in rome specifically the carbonara was always around like 11 or 12 euro yeah, yeah. and then the places where we went that where it was not good it was more like 14 or 15 euro for a plate mm -hmm. what do you think about ice cream in rome yeah so <laughs> i'm still searching <laughs> i have not found it so we go to the the most popular uh, I would did the video still in that video because we did all the food, all the, the experience. It was the ice cream. So the ice cream, we were like, this was a nice place. But Which the, one are you talking the, about? The, the people that was rude. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But it was so rude because I said, you can have the best ice the cream. Experience, totally. It ruined my experience to go. But the ice cream was good. But it was good ice cream. Uh, but I'm not going <laughs> to uh you can i don't remember even the name oh i remember i oh, remember the name <laughs> yeah. well forget about it but we also tried other ice cream places and they were just hit or miss like they might have had one good flavor like we went to frigidarium mm -hmm. and their like their house flavor which is jonduya which is called frigidarium was great but their other flavors were just like meh mm. okay I just haven't found my place in Rome yet for gelato. Yeah. But I will say for food, we've eaten well <clears throat> in the neighborhoods outside of the center. So we ate well in Monti, Prati. Prati. Travestere. Travestere. Did I say it right? Travestere. Travestere. Yes. I always say it wrong. Travestere. Yeah. It is good places. <laughs> uh, there you need that to choose. That was hit or miss. It is a miss. Yes. But we definitely did good in Prati and Monti. Yeah. Food. But you so, got to like walk over there. Okay. So you, what Sorry. do you eat in Rome? Especially. You're going to eat carbonara, cacio e pepe. Cacio e pepe is my thing. Cacio e pepe is Jesse. Every day. Carbonara is for me. I have to have a really good carbonara mm. to like it. Yeah. I don't like a media mediocre carbonara, but I'll eat a mediocre cacio pepe. Cacio pepe, <laughs> yes. And we had the supli. Yes. This time and the trapezzini. Trapezzini, was yes. Really good. It was really good. Yes. It, it was like uh that was uh like street food. Street food, yeah. Street food. Then they are famous for also buki. They are. They make a lot of dishes in Rome. Okay, you can uh, try. But me, when I go Rome, I just go for carbonara because obviously I also book everything I can eat all over the place in Italy. For me, it's not worth it to eat the sandwiches or the pizzas in the restaurants. I'd rather go to the grocery store, buy all of my toppings, and, and make my own parasite. at home. Just because price, you save money, and I just feel like I get better sandwiches when i make it with the grocery store stuff instead yeah. of the the restaurants but i will eat a cacio pepe carbonara and that's pretty much what we eat when we're in we were <laughs> eating, we're in and i'll eat supli i'll and eat supli all yeah. day yeah 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 i love it then okay what do we eat so uh, let me see if we have uh uh No, we don't read the ranch. <laughs> no. No, no ranch. Oh, you love seeing us dance when the food is yummy? I don't know why I do that, but We're I dancing. just can't keep it. Like. Yeah, I mean, good food make you really happy. I mean, we have a big... Uh, we eat... Everybody's different food. Right? Let's say it. Some people like this, some people like... Everybody have different tastes. Like, But like... Uh, I grow up like with the actually food, whatever. And then me and my friends, when I was in Italy, we were every weekend, we were go around to try food all over the place. Like, let's go here. We was driving an hour, like this, this. We found it, the smaller uh, trattoria that we was going. Mm -hmm. And we were like, enjoyed that thing. So after came like uh, uh, unknown. But obviously, some people, they maybe don't have that thing. You know, they said, oh, this is good. This is good for me. Maybe sometimes it's not good because yeah. I see different 
people you make it different, different, uh, different level where you know like oh i had it so great at this place mm. i'm not liking what i'm having here it depends on comparatively what you've had in the past yeah for me when alessio first took me to italy he kept telling me the italian food in america is totally different you don't understand yeah and i was like how different can it be i mean really I'm not ashamed to say that before I met Alessio, my favorite Italian restaurant was the OG Olive Garden. Okay. I wanted to go to Olive Garden every week. And when he took me to Italy, I, my mind was blown open. Yeah. I did not understand how different it could be, but it is very different. Yeah. And then I want to say this, you know, okay. In our videos, we are pretty honest. Yes, we are. We don't try to make a, uh, favorite things like oh i'm italian so i need to make that i need to say this is good this is not good and then whatever we try to go to the sites where the other youtuber and they say well you know that is not that much and then and unfortunately is this sometimes you have to boom the people sometimes it is they try to make the best thing but then you have to boom the people and you try to go fast and maybe you don't prepare to have the boom that now right. with social media is crazy you know but do you have, um, like, example, how much do you think you stay in Rome? How many days? How many days? For me, I have to do a minimum of three days. Mm -hmm. But if I go over four, it's pushing it. It's a pushing bit. it. <laughs> we stayed for, was it five days this last time? La five days in the last two days. We, was like... we were just like, eh. But we, we move when we're in Rome. Like, we are like, boom, 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 boom. We're checking off a lot of things. We do a lot in one day. Yeah. So if you're more of the type of person to do like one big thing in the day and then go back and chill, you might need more days. More days. But we're like knocking it off. We knock in it three off. days. We've got every we've done everything we want to do. And we know use even the transportation, we walk because Rome, you can walk. It's we're beautiful crazy. walking and see the sights and everything where you are. I uh, we was enjoy like the Vatican was 30 minutes. Yeah. We was walking to the Vatican and we come you back. You can see everything. You can get up close with the architecture. Castello Sant'Angelo. But I understand like if people have mobility issues or age issues, you might have to do like transportation. Metropolitana. Oh, yeah, we hadn't talked about the metro when we were talking about yeah. transportation. The metro is really easy to do it. I love the metro in Rome. Uh, I would... I have bad experience to buy tickets because <laughs> I have like one point I was trying to buy the ticket and one person was like this. It was weird. Uh, I said, because the question Get is Get out this. of our personal space, dude. Because Jesse's kind of blonde, they know he's tourist. They think thinking I'm tourist. But then I'm, when I, I realized bring, I bring that him down. I'm not I'm tourist. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's my fault. I'm star watching like, dude, I uh, started moving my hand. He was weird. He, he was like, figure out, like, get out from here, muoviti. <laughs> and then if you start talking bad, because sometimes people, they start talking, na, 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 na. Oh, quanto stai? That, that, that I hate it. I, I, I go crazy. I tell. I want to get my confidence up to where I can be like, c'è un problema. C'è un problema? <laughs> Quanto problema, not... signora? Ha un problema? <laughs> non rompere? <laughs> and basta, I hear because you cannot say it. So, but <laughs> the metro. <laughs> yeah, we have. Riding the metro was great. Great. It was very easy Amazing. to figure it out. Like you, they have an easy little map there. It was easy for me to figure out, okay, here's where I need to go. I need to find this stop and go. Yes. But the buying the tickets was tricky because the machines don't always work. There's always a line of grumpy people wanting to buy the tickets and maybe you're going slower than they want you to. Yes. So definitely Metro is good, but just be aware that you might encounter some. Have some people. cash, <laughs> have some cash because some machines, I have a problem with my credit card. Oh, another tip. Cash should people have with them? That's a good tip. You know, 200 euros is totally fine in the big cities. If you start going upside and leaving the small villages, I depend how much you, you but stay. But it's better to have it broken into smaller amounts. Smaller amounts. Like 200 euro bills. Yes. But you can broken up in somehow. Like if you're going to buy a train station, mm -hmm. they it's easy to... Uh, but if you go a small where you buy just the bread, they have it. But 
you you take off all their change because yeah it might be good to plan like if you've got big bills to buy something like one day if you need to buy the bus ticket or yes. something so you break your money down yeah because like for the metro ticket yeah i was you need just bills. use it, your credit card and then in the end in the last days for using use all your ears and remember try always have double credit card uh because with no fees oh, of course because you can broken up one we broke our credit card and then after that we don't have a credit card like we need to pay the fee we have mm -hmm. the other credit card so you pay three percent fee for what you buy but <sighs> so it was uh, yeah <laughs> instead to use the credit card so for the first time so i put the credit card and they don't work anymore so don't another tip don't ever give the credit card because they put it because maybe sometimes they push it. Just they break tap. it. Yeah, just tap you yourself. They make you I tap. We've had um, because they broke the guy a broke couple my credit card, credit card because issues, which is why I highlighted this comment. Can you go totally cashless in Rome with just the Visa card? Uh, I would have backup cash just because like there's been a time where our credit card didn't work. And even just something for emergencies, I think you have to have it, but you can like the restaurants now, pretty much everybody takes credit card unless you go into one of those little tiny cafe bars and you're just buying like a water for a euro. If you give them your credit card, they're going to be like, what are you doing? Yeah. It's one euro. That's happened to me before, but you can go and pay credit card basically everywhere in yeah. Italy, but have a backup credit card. Because for us, like our credit card stopped working, and thank goodness we had that backup. Otherwise, we, have, we would have been like, we have two backup. I was thinking actually, no, was uh, a fee, but actually there was a fee. But uh, another tip it is sometimes you buy a, a a dollar water. Of course, they accept just cash. They don't give you for a dollar the credit card. Uh, American Express, a lot of sites they don't take it. So Visa or MasterCard? Visa is all over the place. MasterCard too, but uh, uh, American Express, no. It is high fees. Then, of course, we're talking about city or small towns. I was going with just Visa because in the small towns, they don't take American Express. High fees for them. Right, I forgot about American Express. And then remember, if you go eat somewhere in the, in the hills or whatever, we was a Pienza, could happen that the internet is not working because you're thinking the internet is all over the place, but sometimes they sell the true that it's not working the internet. Yeah. So it's much better have some backup cash, but everything was work for us. The parkings, you have credit cards. So yeah, so. I, when we first went to Rome, what was that first time we went together? Like you've been to Rome before you met me, but when the first time we went together was in 2015. And like we had to pay cash almost everywhere at yeah. that point. But now you can pay credit card pretty much all over. Yeah. So what other questions, Amore? Uh, pretty much that's it. So do you have you guys some questions like it? Maybe we don't cover up. Let's let's see. Let's do some questions. Um Oh, I just thought of a question that I've seen other people okay. ask us before. Sorry. And then we'll look at the, the thing. Um, people are asking to plan their trip. How much money should they like set aside per day? Like to go to Rome? To be honest, I put always $100 for two people and I never spend $100. And mm -hmm. but I put in, in my mind, I'm gonna spend 100 because sometimes you spend less, sometimes you, well, die, let's is buy this a wine. Including, like, is that just for food or is it including going to sites like tickets? One side, yeah. So, like, we'll do a hundred dollars together, yeah, and maybe for one site and for food for the day, guys. A and meal if a pasta costs like the worst scenario can cost you 15 euros a plate so 15 15 is 30 30 bucks and then you're gonna pay the water you pay the bread let's say you spend uh, 45 
you have mm -hmm. one meal. So another 45 in the evening, you're 80. So you have one side and maybe not, depend. Yeah, but we like, I don't think but we've ever gone we over. We never go in because we was eating uh, some street food, maybe a piece of pizza, or like we said, we did some sandwiches or some- We always, we always... try and do like a balance. Like if we know we want to go to a restaurant in the mm. night for dinner, we'll eat cheap or we'll eat from the grocery store during the day. Yeah. And so like that. what do you think about Rome Pass? So we think this. I think is uh, Florence Pass was more worth it because Florence it is a distance the nothing. Florence so is so close small, together. and I think it uh, Rome you spend more time to watch the sights. Respect. So it is worth it only if you think to. To speed a little bit. Here's the thing. You need to look at the pass, see what sites are included, go to the websites of the ones that you know you want to go to, look up the ticket prices for those things, and then see how much you would pay for tickets, and then how much you pay for the pass and see if you're saving money or yeah. not. Because we, ne we never did the Rome pass, but we did do Florence pass. And we save, I think, what is it, 70 euros or 70 something? 70 euros, 70 at that time. And when I calculated up the cost of the tickets for all the things that we saw, yeah. we would have spent like $150 in ticket prices per person. Per person. So we, we saved like crazy doing the Florence Pass. But yeah. again, we're like moving all over the place when we're there. So definitely calculate where you want to go, the price, and then see if it's worth it to do the pass. Yeah. The pass is nice because you get to like, skip and skip. things so you, there's a little bit of like a bonus yeah. within that but if you're only going to do a couple of things it might not be worth it to pay for no. their own pass example we don't pay, we don't buy their own pass because we said we're doing the Colosseum, we go to the vatican and we go to the photo romani and that that no was covering our um It wasn't covering, non -covering the, the past. The past. And then we was just three days, I think. So I what was... are your like must-see sites in Rome? My favorite was Colosseum and the Vatican. Uh, no, uh, the Foro Romani was interesting. I could spend days in the Roman Forum. Like that is my favorite place in Rome. My yeah. favorite place. I will walk along the little ruined cobblestones, look at all the columns and everything, and then go up to Palatine Hill where they had the emperor's palaces. It's just so cool to be there and think about all the ancient Romans that walked there. there. It's mind-blowing to me. Yeah, it like, is. It is such a cool place. It's su such and a cool place. And then if you place. go up on top of Palatine Hill, you look out and you see a beautiful view. It's just so cool. Like that is my number one place. I will always go. I can never look at it enough. Yeah. So uh, we have plans to go in Piemonte. So the, our next trip is going to be Sicily. So we're going to yeah. do Sicily. Then it's going to be Bologna, Emilia Romagna. Then we actually have Milan, Como e Cinque Terre. We, well, don't have, got it all planned out. we don't have yet Piemonte, but Piemonte is going to be there. We have the Dolomiti. We're going to have that. Uh, we're going to do a lot of North Italy area, uh, especially we're going to do in the winter times and stuff like that. For mm -hmm. It's really beautiful, even in the winter. And uh, close to the summer, something like that is going to be maybe Puglia. But it is a lot of things. I so know just things. It's hard so many to... things. But the first two is going to be uh, Sicilia and then Emilia Romagna. wait to go back to Sicily. We... I'm like, I have a granita in my head. Yes. We went to Sicily for our honeymoon. Yeah. Best ever. It was so amazing. Best ever. We did a honeymoon. It was best ever. So that'll be coming up soon. Yeah. We agree. Yeah, I love we Sicily. Agree. We love Sicily. <laughs> I mean... Sicily is wonderful. Sicily has it all, in my opinion. Yeah. Like, it has beautiful beaches, beautiful sea views, um, beautiful towns, incredible food. And you have your historical sites, too. Yeah. Like, we went to Agrigento, where they have um, Greek temples up on the hill. Mm -hmm. Like, you get a little bit of everything. 
which was nice for us because I'm a like a seer, a doer. Yeah. I like to go to the museums. I like to do all that historical stuff. Alessio is like, a, I like to sit on the beach and do nothing. Yes. So for our honeymoon, it was a perfect, perfect blend because we got to do a little bit of both all yes. in one place. So this is perfect because actually we not just go in Sicily, but we're going to do the Dolomiti. Yes. We're going to do the Dolomites. In this next trip. In the next trip. Because I'm from the Dolomites. So we're going to do Sicily and the Dolomites. So I'm from to the Northeast Italy. And because I always say Venice because people understand where is Venice. But actually I'm more up and uh, to the, to the left. The smaller to the yes. right. Yes. I was planning the Dolomites because guys, Trentino, Friuli, Veneto, there are some places that are so beautiful but is not known from the people so we try to cover sicily we're going to try to cover the dolomites a little bit the dolomites because we don't have too much time playing in the trip but it's gonna be amazing it is like amazing the thing is like there's so many amazing places in italy that yeah. tourists don't go to just because it's not marketed as much as yeah. maybe another big city or something exactly and it's just as beautiful just as many amazing things to do so like our goal would just be to show you everything we're gonna show you point. everything <laughs> we're gonna show you the small town if you wanna vacate we show you the vacation if you wanna go vacation sicily how to do the vacation in sicily uh what you can eat what you can do you in emilia romagna in torino in Val d'Aosta, we're gonna get this non known, uh, like oh, Le Marche, which is beautiful. It's, it's like, beautiful, like, like Tuscany, it's but... like Tus Tuscany, but it's cheap, yeah, <laughs> because the cheap it's Tuscany. The, the cheap. There are the Puglia, my god, it's so many things. Basilicata, it is La Calabria, it mm -hmm. is Friuli, Veneto, it is so many things that we're planning, even the small towns. They are things, it's just now we are like. We are stuck here in the United States. Yeah. You know, can we try to find the house there? And uh, so this going to kill a little bit hard time to try planning how to move forward there, come back here. So um, I just thought of something we didn't talk about in Rome, the water fountains. Oh, the water fountains. Just another yeah. little tip, random tip. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. That's going to be so fun. I We just took my mom last year oh my god for her 60th birthday and it was always my dream from when i was like a little kid to get my room my, my room <laughs> <laughs> get my mom to go over to italy or to europe in general and she's only been out of the country once to mexico and i was like i'm gonna take my mom to italy one day i'm gonna take my mom to italy i told alessio when I met him, this is like mm. my dream. So for my mom's 60th birthday, we got to take her to Italy. And it was like, I cried the whole time. It was just a dream come true. Yeah. I'm getting emotional just thinking about it. This is for you, Amora. <laughs> Jesse, you're normally in a dress. That's cool. But I'm curious why you've chosen dresses. I just like dresses. I really like them. Jesse I'm, started making their own dresses. I have really started to dabble in sewing. You hear in the room. It's like my new hobby is sewing. I did not make this dress, but I'm working on making my own dresses. But the reason I like dresses, so I, I used to always wear dresses when I was younger, just because I would like throw it on and go. I felt like it was easy and comfortable and I would go. Then I went into a phase where I was always in jeans and leggings. Like mm -hmm. I always wore pants. And then recently I've gotten like over the last couple of years back into my dress stage. Yes. Just because it's so comfortable. I hate to be like restricted. And to be honest, I have endometriosis. So there's like a lot going on down here in the abdomen and I hate like being restricted. Mm. So I love wearing dresses and it just makes me feel like free and happy. <laughs> Let's see. So. Oh, I saw another question about timing for Rome. People were asking about September and October. Yes. It's also good. Yes. Yeah. Go, go, go. September, October, maybe November start a little bit chill i never been in november in rome rome is uh it's a nice spot because you can 
November, febbraio e marzo, it is that time that you can have a good weather and it's then the like cold weather. It is like roll of the dice. But it's not cold like North Italy. That One is time it's, we were there when it snowed in Rome. Yeah, it was like never snow in Rome, never. In and the it history. like shut down the whole city. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that is the thing. Let's see. Um, oh, information for someone in a wheelchair. No, okay, yeah, yeah, that one. So, Italy is tricky. It is tricky. There are like wheelchair accessible entrances to all the sites. Yes. Um, like even the Roman Forum, which is a super like <clears throat> big walking area because it's so spaced out. They do they do have ramps that you can go up and little like lookout points where you can go. It is tricky with a lot of the historical sites because the pathways the path. are like uneven. Uneven, yeah. But there are places to go in and then to go up Palatine Hill, there are like elevators and things that you can go into. Um, Vatican is super easy to do wheelchair yeah. wise. Vatican easy. It it's tricky just like depending on the roads. The roads can you do they it's start building places and... can you can go. It's getting you know, better. The, this is getting better than what was before. Yes, but in some places it was tricky for us to actually ask to walk because I remember we have with these big rocks you go up and down. Oh yeah, and with then, my ankle, I was like, and then you, <laughs> I was struggling when I sprained my ankle. Like when we go to the side time. to the Foro Romani. Yeah, because everything but is. Um, how is it? I would say like. Again, if you're in a super crowded area, people are polite. They'll get out of your yeah, way. Yeah. Like there were people in wheelchairs when we went this last yes, time and they were they going were. around with their families and they were fine. Um, probably getting from location to location, you're going to want to do like a taxi mm -hmm. so that you're just, it's easier for you to get to where you need to go. Um, but the metro... The metro. There's elevators to go down. Even the train. Yeah. Uh, I remember you have the elevator. Can you go up to your little station? Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, you have uh, yeah. Uh, all this. Uh, and I think, all, like I said, all the sites that I, I remember seeing, like accessible. It's accessible. They start putting things. like wooden things, like, uh, and then ramps they start building and... the ramps. They start building. I remember uh, was building. So you have uh, the only thing it is sometimes some specific place in the photo Romani, i remember you have the access all over yeah, the but place but it might not be like the whole path is all smooth path all is smooth. the way yeah. through but, but there yeah, are some get, places yeah, yeah you get yeah other questions so yeah stay a month yeah yeah we love to it's the it's the way to go really yeah the metro is true. Metro is so easy. I love the metro in Rome. Like, really, it's my favorite city metro. So we never been in Germany. Me either. <clears throat> Actually, I have an aunt in Germany. And I was trying to always go to the Oktoberfest. <laughs> but, all right, it's a big party over there. Uh, but I never been. It is... Uh, we go in Austria. We go to Slovenia, Croatia, uh, Spain. I've never been in England. I mean, just for airport. We've aer been to the airport many airport, times in London. No, but... no. Actually, the airplane, how to fly from United States to depend all about where you're from. Because in New York, you find flights all over the place. And then a lot of people are asking, so uh, where you need to go first? Rome, Venice. Venice is the airport with less collegations guys what is collegations like uh, oh connection connection okay like oh my goodness for me it's a nightmare i mean if you're doing a lot of stops you arrive but if you want to go straight to fast venice is uh it's more connection with east europe united states but you find a lot of milan and rome it is good for united states mm -hmm. but i the other side i always find problem i need a I wish it was Rome. It's so easy to fly into Rome. Yeah, but you have more fly, uh, more hours to fly. I like I know like short flights. Like I don't care, so many hours. Any other questions about travel to Italy in general? It doesn't have to be Rome related. It can be anything. Yeah. 
Yeah, we are almost done the the live. So are you both really ready for moving again? I think so. <laughs> oh wait. Oh no. <laughs> this. Yeah. Um, I think so. We'll see. I really think like we talked about this in our last video about it. I think that we're like the goal is to be able to spend half the year in Italy and half the year in the U.S. That really we would decide be that is the, the, the thing. perfect thing for us. Yeah, we decide that is the, the until thing. our families somehow magically merge into one yeah. place. It just it makes the most sense for us to spend a nice big chunk of time there and then a nice big chunk of time here. Italy is so dog friendly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there are uh, there are there so are, many dogs, are so and many, actually, uh, in like, the grocery store, I remember are, seeing dogs in all the restaurants. Yeah, they some most of the time they are upside or uh, with the tables upside because maybe the owner will stay upside. But yes, and then but I saw in the all over the place. We would not be moving until later next year, because I need to see. We need a we we try to make a trip, long trip stay. Multi because if we made it you know you saw We're the video on Misha, yeah you see the, the two videos ago okay we're working on it with the cat if we bring the cat it's game over i mean we're gonna stay there long and we can cover we can do everything multi we can in three months even if i stay three months and then come back in the united states i can cover a good size and then give more tips for everybody yeah would love to be oh dudes and dudes i love your channel yeah. <laughs> um yeah the oh, yeah no i how I, did your cat deal with all the traveling oh this is a question like so we always have my family and our neighbors stay and yeah, take care they stay of her. here in the house so she's well taken care of she's probably like she misses us because she's she happy us. when we get home. My God, she cry. But I think we cry probably for days. miss her even more. She losing the voice. Yeah. And then she'll stay up. She won't go to sleep when we come back. She don't go. She's like watching, see, watching. Again. It's very if, upsetting. Yeah. If you go wake up, <clears throat> you go to the bathroom, she following you and she cry. She mm -hmm. cry to the bathroom and then feel sad. Uh, I feel sad all the time. And then after three days, she start go used to. She go back to sleep and mm -hmm. her routine. But man, if it's uh, in the beginning, so we've been harness training her. Yeah, she's doing so much better. But there's a long way to go. Yeah, that's probably why it's gonna take a year and a yeah. half. <laughs> um, we have not found a house yet in no. Italy. We're still looking from afar. Um, but like Alessio said, like. We just don't know yet if right now is the right time. We, yeah. I want to find the right place. I don't want to find just a place. Yeah, a place, exactly. Yeah. Short video. I'm on. I think yeah, we did. Actually, no, we never did a short. We never did the short? About the purse and the clothing? We, we, oh no, maybe not. I think we talked about it in our um, we Siena did, video. In Siena video. We talked about it in the Siena video, yeah. So, yes, because, yes, we need to do maybe short. Do you guys want to see what I look like when I walk down the streets of Italy? Hold on, let me get my purse. <laughs> I didn't show you. Okay, here we go. Uh, in cash, yeah, I was bringing the credit card for 14 days. And cash, just bring 500 if, if maybe it's too much, I need to know specific where you go. Uh, okay, go ahead, quick yeah. little demonstration. So I got this at Target. It was a cheap bag. This is my favorite travel bag because it has thick straps. Don't buy a purse with thin fabric straps because it is a thing where they'll take like a knife or scissors and cut your straps and then run off with your bag. So it's a zipper top with internal zipper pockets, okay? So yeah. you've got multiple zipper protection. I carry it with the strap around my body like this, and then I'll loop my arm through the, the thing. So I'm walking like, like this. Yeah. So they're going to have to really battle me to take my bag, okay? Yeah. And then I have the zipper toward the front of me rather than the back. 
where they could like zip in while I'm not looking. Yeah. So I'll carry it like like this. Hey, if I have me, if I have a, a jacket, my wallet I put inside here on the pack in the front because they are really sneaky. They are uh, they are really fast. They're professionals. They are really those professional. big pockets. Yeah. By the way, ciao Lukaku, ciao. <laughs> um, there are travel purses with wire in the handle, yes. Yeah. Which is a good protection because when they try and cut it, they can't get it. How common are the bag snatchings? This I don't I, know, this question. I have never... Oh, the Rolex? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. I have... Oops, oops. I have never seen somebody get their bag stolen but i've heard from other people that yeah. they got their bag stolen and another common thing actually is this um when you go sit down at an outdoor restaurant or something and you'll like put your bag on the table don't do that i always put my bag like either like this when we're stopping for a cat a coffee oh or yeah something. the coffee yeah if you're inside a restaurant, you're okay. But I'm yeah. talking about like out on the in the piazza. If you're out streets. in the piazza, close to the to the street. If you have a lot of tables, mm -hmm. if you have a lot of tables like this, you don't have to stay like that. Right. But if, if you're, you're inside, exposed. you can put. If you're exposed in the front, yes, be careful. And don't like you know I've seen at the cafes they have chairs where you can like hang your bag on the back. I wouldn't do that either personally. Yeah. But again, it's not like you're guaranteed that they're going to take your bag. It just be observant and just be mindful of where your attention is. Where your attention. Exactly. It's and all about... Because if you like this... These are just tips to be overly secure. But you, you like don't this, need to be walking... You have the purse right there. And your husband to go maybe uh, uh, in the bathroom or pay. You are like this. You have the purse on the table. You're you are in the attention. front. I mean... They can't take it and run away. Yeah. But it, you don't it, need to be walking like yeah, down yeah. the street. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. Have your parents ever been to the U.S. to visit you? No. Not, no. 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 <laughs> no. No. I visit them. I visit you, ragazzi. <laughs> yeah, so, maybe someday. So, yeah, maybe someday because uh, my grandfather is old. My grandmother is old, 95. My mom stayed there. So my brother have life over there, you know. they. So it's hard for them to come here. It is much easier to me to go there. Yeah, it to is. To visit them. It is like... It's like, easier for us to move It is much easier for, for us to move in. Then, are you going to be visiting Luca and Sarah when you're in Italy or Sicily? I don't know, I don't know who, that who is. they are. Yeah, we need to look that. Up. Well, we need to look them up. We yeah, don't know who they are. I don't know. Luca and Sarah, hit us up here in yes. Sicily. Let's see. How do you guys not gain weight with all the food you eat? It's true. <laughs> this is my secret. I walking every hour, uh, every day, an hour. Mm -hmm. An hour, I, I do 10,000 steps every day. Probably I do 15,000. I wake up early in the morning, like 6.30, I wake up. I drink my coffee, 7.30, I go walk an hour and then maybe run and come back. And that is what keep me a little bit, I mean, I'm a little bit fat anyway, but yeah. <laughs> But when I'm in Italy, it, when we are in US, actually we eat really good. Like yeah, I was house. gonna say like when we're home, we eat really balanced. Yeah. But when we're in when we're on vacation in Italy, we're gonna enjoy ourselves. When we're on vacation, give me all the it's gelato. not tomorrow. It's give not me all tomorrow. the pizza. Exactly. It's like, not tomorrow. When I'm there, I don't get that stuff when we have I'm two in weeks. the US. So I'm gonna go for it. We have two weeks. And yeah, you do a lot of walking. And it'll, it'll I handle okay. it when I come back to the US. <laughs> yeah. In the US, we know it. If you notice, even in our content, we make it is now we don't do it anymore the, the restaurants anymore because actually we was feeling so full and things. Mm -hmm. So we decide now we're going to do uh, this way. So. Yeah. 
do you feel safe driving in the, the Italian traffic? Actually, this could be a good thing because some people in the past have asked us about if they want to go to Italy and visit multiple cities, should they rent a car? Should they? That is different. We need to make a new video about talking in Italy because in general, in general <laughs> because every single vacation, maybe we're going to do another live where we're talking about how to plan your Italy travel. Mm -hmm. If you need it, uh, the car where you need it's easy. You need it. Example. Yeah. We'll be renting the car and yeah. driving all the, all the way around in Florence. You don't need it, example. And if you need to move down to the Val d'Orcia, maybe you can rent, you can go take the train, go to Siena, the, from Siena, take the car for the day, example, instead to go. Mm -hmm. It's all about the pain, the vacation can you want to do it. For me, I would feel comfortable driving in the out, like in the outer towns, but in the cities, I'm not driving. I don't like it. Personally, you need, you need to be aggressive. You could, you've done it. And he's really good. Aggressive? But I'm, no, I can't do it. And thinking like Catania. Do you remember? Catania. Driving was, in Catania. Catania is in the US, it's coming the car, people stop, and then you go. This in Catania, they're pouring out. So you stop, even if you are dead and yeah. they're moving because. It is like, I have to go because nobody stopped. You just have you to have find to the courage you, to you go. You start to move in the car a little bit for it, for it, for it. And then you see somebody a little bit slow. You go, you block them. It's no problem. You have to be some places to go, but it's not every city. Now, let's do the last two questions. Thank you so much, Thank Francesca. You. Oh, this is an also thank you, Francesca, for your other comment too. When are you going to Sicily? So we're planning pretty soon. Like um, I don't know if it's this summer or to the to the fall. Yeah, it's gonna either be late summer or early fall. Yeah. We're still finalizing the details. Yes. Naples driving. I never been to Naples, and uh, so I cannot. Uh, speak about because I don't know the roads and in my opinion if I was in Rome and I want to go to Naples I would take the train in my mm. opinion I would take the day I would spend the day in Rome uh, in, in Naples. Naples eat my pizza do the sights because it is really walkable and from there I go I go back mm -hmm. I mean I was doing Rome you have more stuff to see I mean Naples you have so much stuff to see but some people have priorities like i want to see the vatican and the vatican it is right like, but in naples is a lot of stuff you need days there too but if you have just the ping oh, i want to eat a uh, pizza stuff and it is a Go lot there. of good food over there the mozzarella plenty so i don't was go rent the car mm -hmm. that, that is thing all right guys i hope can you it is Hope this is helpful. Happy, this is Otto. <laughs> Otto, Otto, Otto. <laughs> and that's it. And then we, we're we going to do another live with all. If you write the comments, whatever you want to know, you know, I'm going to write all the comments. I go there checking all your comments. And then if you have questions about the tripping, you, if you have a trip next year or this year, we can cover another live. So it is easy for us. Like, and if you say specific, if you say, "Oh, I go to Italy. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to fly." You need the same little bit specific. Like, I want to go Rome, and I want to do Venice. I want to do uh, Bologna, yeah. whatever. And uh, how many days? Two weeks. So I know if you have two weeks, what you need to do. Because if you tell me I want to go there, but I don't know, your timing is really hard. Right. So give if you have specific questions, give us a little bit of detail so yeah. then we can try and help. Yeah. And grazie mille, ragazzi, Woo! per essere stati con noi. È stata una piacevole mattinata. E magari un giorno parleremo solo in italiano, solo in italiano, così... Ah, imparate un po' l'italiano. Anche Jesse deve imparare l'italiano, no? Giusto? Mm, sì, ma non adesso. Ma non adesso, eh, non adesso. Sono timida. È timida, però sa l'italiano, eh? Soprattutto quando si incazza. Va bene, ragazzi, ci Ciao. vediamo alla prossima. E grazie per essere stati con noi. Ciao!